Hi, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I have some resin left over from the video I've just worked on. So I'm going to come in and use these bookmark moulds. They look a little bit dirty on the outside, but the insides are clean. I've just cleaned them. You can get them off Amazon or Etsy. And we're going to have a go and use the colours that I had left from the video. So that's going to be the colour cottage pigments, which is the Heather Glen Brilliant Blue and the Coffee Bean. And the resin that I'm using is craft resin. And that's the leftover from a project I was using. So I am going to fill majority of these with clear. Trying to make sure I'm going to have enough to get that dome effect. But I do have some colours that I'm going to bring through. But I want them to be fairly transparent, but I'm just going to let that self-level remove its bubbles. It's really important if you're new to resin with silicone moulds, when you are heating to remove any bubbles, not to get the flames directly onto your silicone moulds. Otherwise, it will cause the re resin to stick to the moulds. So they'll level out. I'll come back in a couple of minutes when it's all levelled and we'll start to add some colour.
So I've just finished working on these, so they are waiting to cure, but I'll show you the amazing effects, well, the effects that I enjoy uh, before it cures. Obviously, this will change. The resin will keep feathering out. Sorry, my camera's just trying to focus. Um, it will definitely continue to feather out, soften, blend together. I'm hoping that it's going to keep that effect of floatiness. And these colours lend well to each other. They are a pearl kind of feeling. That's what I feel and see. And I think these are going to make a nice little bookmark. So I just need to do a little bit of maintenance going down to the bottom one, which is looking for any air bubbles, bits, and remove those. And just make sure that I have got my correct edge and it's domed. Other than that, I should just wait and see what the magic of the resin is going to do. Looks like a happy face there on the left in the brown. And uh, yeah, hopefully it holds true to what I've got here and there's not too change, but it will soften a little bit and bleed out. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. I will see you in 24 hours after curing. Bye. Take 33. It feels like that. I finally found a good angle for you to see the shimmer of these colours and this palette. And then I'd filmed it the wrong way. So I've now been searching to find it again and I think I've got it and I think my video is the right way. But I really just wanted you to see the shimmer in this and how glorious this colour palette is together. But this, that's the end there that I've just got to sand off. Sorry, I'm just going to just going to straighten it. That's the area I've got to sand off. But these are amazing little gift ideas, bookmarks for yourself or for anybody else. Use with leftover resin. Add it at the last minute and get that floating effect. So you've got the holes there. And the backs are not as exciting, but they still have a beautiful effect and a different texture where the resin's fall, uh, fallen down. But this is just where you get to see the beautiful colour cottage pigments. Sparkle. And I love the floaty feeling. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. If you want to see me work on a certain colour palette or test something out for you on my channel, let me know. Happy to do that. Uh, but other than that, be kind, be creative, be original, have some fun and come back and see me on the next video. Ciao, ciao.